Welcome back to Once Human. Today I am going to be fighting this boss as you probably saw in the thumbnail and title and well, it didn't go that great and I was extremely unprepared. So if you have not fought it yet, I definitely would recommend watching this as you do not want to make the mistakes I did. Before we get started, I am trying to reach 2,000 subscribers and if you could help me get there that would mean a lot to me, but either way, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. Once Human, it's a game I've been playing for a little bit. It's a nice little survival story game and currently... I am going after the third boss, but last episode I completely forgot to finish the second segment of the game and go report my findings to the NPC that I was supposed to, so I have to go back and do that first. My people will definitely be relieved. And here. Can you hear me? It's Mary. With reporting my findings to the NPC, I could now finally move up to the third area of the map, but not only that, I also got a really cool weapon skin that I will definitely end up building later. I also at this point did not know this, but my friend that was with me saw that there were tasks that I could do to help me level up, which is going to be, honestly, after I did them, I realized how good they were. So if you're struggling to level up in this game, go to the little cities, get the tasks from the people and do those on the little task board as they will give you a ton of XP early game. I headed back to base and I fixed up my bike and made a tiny bit of bullets but I really didn't do much else and the fact of me not really doing much else is going to come into play later but I just wanted to get to the third area start exploring and figure out what I would do with that and figure out what to do later I just wanted to get over there and get started so I could keep going in my progression on my way over there I also got one of the worst surprises I've gotten in this game so far and I would honestly say that I was probably lucky to not see it before now but um you may find this reaction comical What the fuck is that? That was bullshit. That was bullshit, bro. No, there's a fake box that had a demon inside of it. Oh yeah, I came across one of those. That was bullshit. Other than this game turning into the horror game I never thought it was, I, all I was really doing was just stopping at the big target areas on my way up to my objective and trying to activate the rift anchors. I knew that I would probably have to do this later by this point. I wasn't really trying to do anything else in the locations but do this, but I knew that if I could do this now, that later I would have less of them to do. And finally, I arrived at my location. And at this location, along with a lot of story stuff and a lot of loot, which I had also gotten a lot of loot on the way, I had a cutscene that I could tell I would not be excited for, and I realized what was happening to me just a little bit too late. Oh, I did not bring enough ammo to do a boss fight. God damn. Oh, no, 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 no. And with less than 50 bullets in my sniper rifle and not much else on me, I was now having to fight a boss. Could I back out of it and get back to base? Yeah, probably, but I really wasn't about that because I was going to have to drive all the way back here. I didn't think I'd set up the teleportation tower yet. And I did want to try and finish it, but there was just absolutely no way. This thing was even extremely hard to melee, which was going to stop me from doing that. It was the only thing you could really clip was its legs. The attacks, were, its attacks were very strong. And this level of being unprepared was something that would carry on not just through this boss fight, but through this entire third section of the game. I was just a little bit behind for actually doing it. Which I mentioned could happen, but that's just how it went. Eventually, I did actually die, but it respawned me in here, and that's when I decided I was not going to try and escape. All I could do at that point was try and figure out a way to melee it. And also, I did have grenades and molotovs, which did a ton of damage, but that was not enough. Eventually, I did find this spot. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to do this or not, but that's not my problem. Um, where you could get up on this pillar and melee. That's eventually how I killed the mini boss. But do not make this same mistake. If you are going to do this mini boss or any story mission for that matter, bring enough ammo to fight something. Obviously, you know when you're going to the big boss fights, but you never know when something like this could happen. So bring food, bring ammo, bring the adrenaline shots if you can, which I did, which I definitely could have used in this video, and just bring everything that you could need because this kind of stuff could happen to you, and you could have no clue that it's about to happen. I got all of my loot from the boss fight. Decided that if I ever went out, I needed to bring ammo, and that I need to be very careful about what I was doing and I learned my lesson and moved on. I went ahead and went back to base, obviously to prepare a little bit more, and I decided that now would be a good time to craft a new rifle, my first tier 3 weapon. But you may notice a problem with that if you've played this game, and if you haven't, I'm about to give you another mistake that you do not want to make. I might make a whole video about mistakes at some point, because I got to learn a lot from them. 
you do not want to make a level 3 weapon if you are not level 20 yet. For some reason, this game doesn't have a crafting level cap, it has a use level cap. So, I could craft it, I could waste all my resources on it, but I could not use it yet. So, I made a tier 3 rifle, but I would not get to use it for a little bit, because, as you just saw in the last clip, I just hit level 17. However, this rifle and some of the other weapons that I wanted to craft in, that I wanted to craft, all had this cap on it. So, I really needed to just go ahead and level up. The best way I could think at the time was just building my base up, because I didn't really know how to level. So, I just decided to build my base out of stone. I could learn that my base would look cooler it'd be a little bit stronger but then I would just have to keep leveling I wanted to use these weapons for the next boss and even those were going to be a stretch of if they were strong enough so I just had to spend the rest of the night crafting building and doing as much as I could to reach level 20 how long did it take me to make it there well that's gonna be a thing for next episode where I get to do that and hopefully finish the rift anchors and fight the third boss if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to let me know in the comments below and let me know what you guys think of the game, the series, everything like that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. At the beginning, as I mentioned, I'm trying to make it to 2,000 subscribers, so if you could find it in your heart to help me get there, that would mean a lot to me. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.